Hello and welcome to Gub Farm. So in the previous video we drove the stakes around each of the trees and what I have to do next is put a wire mesh cage around each of the trees. So as part of the grant I got for planting these trees there's a requirement to put a 1.5 metre uh, circular cage and I think the decision is up to the, the grower to decide how they're going to do that. So I've got the stakes in the ground, I bought 50 mil chicken wire and now I have to cut into lengths of 1.5 meters and use it to create a tube around each of the trees. I suspect if I do 100 a day I'll be doing well, so I'm probably looking at about three weeks of work. So, um, but for you it'll be much faster. Let's get stuck in. Now I've got a simple jig, I put some screws to catch the wire at a specific point. I have tracked the wood at 150 centimeters from there. So um, let's see how it works out. So while I was waiting for some wire, I mulched around 20 or 30 trees. So some of them I put down cardboard on the base, covered in wood chip, and others I just put down the wood chip. You can see the mycelium, the fungus, starting to work on the wood chip. And I want to see how much of a difference the cardboard makes. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in all the trees. So it's just an experiment. To attach the wire to the posts, just using some U staples, 1.2 1, 1 by 12 mil U staples, and a staple gun.
I'm just overlapping the wire and lapping it. That's it. So now it's a case of rinse repeat 1700 times. It's Sunday the 30th of May about 8.30 p.m. and I'm just about to cut the last piece of wire. <laughs> I'm so very happy. So that's the last of the wire cut. So tomorrow I have to attach about 160 cages to the three, so that'll take about maybe four or five hours. And then it's over, and tomorrow's the 31st, so the deadline for having the walk finished was the 1st of June. So bang on, bang on time. So that's it, that's all the cages up around the threes. So I'll now request that DERA carry out their checks and hopefully all the grant conditions have now been met. That was a lot of hard work. I have a lot of questions over how effective this is going to be long term. Already I've had about 10 threes damaged from deer putting their head into the cage and ripping the cage off the off the stake as they scratch their antlers and causes a lot of damage to the three, frequently breaking the threes. Whereas in the past, without a cage, they'd come along, they might nibble a few threes, and on one occasion, I think they girdled one of the small threes. So the damage was insignificant compared to um, the damage I've seen so far with the cages. But time will tell. Um, the criteria of the grant was to put a 1.5 meter cage around the trees and that's what I've done. Um, it was a lot of work. I've been at this now for about three weeks and um, I'm glad it's over. So that's it, I can move on to other jobs now. So over the coming videos I'm going to be checking up on the Johnson Sioux bioreactor. I'm going to be mulching around these trees. I'm going to be checking up on some of the planting I've done. Um, the, the willow in the bottom of floods a lot, the black corn, the raspberry, etc. So until then, good luck! <laughs>